Have you ever wondered why you hate certain foods and why you love other foods and maybe how your tastes have changed as you've grown up? Perhaps you didn't like onions when you were a kid, but now you can't get enough of them. You're eating raw onions. You're weird. But according to this new article in Gizmodi Gizmodo where food psychologist Elizabeth Phillips is interviewed, she says there's certain ways that people develop their tastes. There's innate preferences, which is uh, kind of like what we've learned evolutionarily speaking, right? So we like sweet foods and ripe fruits are sweet. They're good for us to eat. We don't like bitter foods and a lot of poisonous berries, poisonous berries, bear. trees, stuff we shouldn't be eating. Don't eat trees. Don't eat trees. Trees are bad for you unless you grind it. Up. Anyway, point is there are the preferences like that that work with our evolutionary capabilities. And like we like your fat diet, because, yeah. you know, when we were surviving, when we weren't coddled like we are now, uh, we needed that fat for energy. We don't need it anymore. Uh, ketchup evolution. But yes, ketchup. I put it on everything. Yes, I love ketchup too. And there's also learned preferences. It starts back from when you're in the womb, right? So and like your if you're eats pickles and peanut butter, and then you like pickles and peanut butter. Your mother eats carrots. You like carrot flavored food. And this goes on until you're about two years old. So you'll, you'll just eat things and you'll like them or you won't, or whatever. And then there gets to a point in the terrible twos when maybe your child eats something new and doesn't like it, spits it out, has a fit, cries. Parent doesn't give the f child that food anymore, saying, oh, my baby doesn't like this. Chances are the kid won't like that for the rest of his or her childhood. And That's what the parents think. Well, that, this is what the they psychologists teach. They don't like it now, teach. they'll never like it. And that, that tends to be the way that it forms. But actually, uh, there was a sentence in here you liked. If you just keep eating it, like maybe 10 or 15 times, you will like it. The point is, we don't eat foods because we like them. We like them because we eat them. Ah. So if your kid doesn't like something, mm -hmm. give it to them like 15 more times, and then they'll like it. Well, they'll learn to like it. And they'll they'll, learn they say, if they know it's good for them. <laughs> you're not, no, well, they say a way for you to like, learn how to like foods to change your, your habits of eating is to mix it with something you do like. So he's mixing them with mashed potatoes. He likes mashed potatoes, and eventually he will adapt to it. His taste buds will kind of react in a way that it's, it's not horrifying to him to eat anymore. And he said this is how he learned I like tomatoes, because when he was a teenager, he liked Mexican pizzas from Taco Bell, which do have sprinklings of tomatoes. So that's the way you learn how to like food. Unless you are Tim and you just don't like cilantro for... Well, that's different. <laughs> not liking cilantro is a genetic thing, from what I understand. Yeah. Um, that certain people are hardwired to smell and therefore taste cilantro differently. It tastes soapy to it me. It tastes so good to me. And to other people. Yeah. Predominantly Europeans, I hear, don't have an Why aversion to cilantro. Why are you gonna make it racialist? I, hey, hey, you know what? You go to IHateCilantro.com and see how big that community is. And you is. go to FuckYeahCilantro.com and join the party <laughs> with me website. and Amir. Not Ooh. a website. <laughs> well, but go ahead. Cilantro is in stuff. So yeah. you, you, I eat it anyway. And it, sometimes a bite will taste a weirder than others, but... It's okay. You go on. Yeah, guess Maybe you should try eating it 10 to 15 times. Over and over and over or again. For I don't a think couple I'm going to get over this one because I don't like the taste You're of soap. You're just going to hate it. Yeah. Maybe I'll learn to like the taste of soap. <laughs> and then you'll have a weird habit about eating soap and you can be on the Maury Show. Won't that be fun that for you? That would be so weird. Well, actually, the, according to this article, the only way to make yourself dislike food is if it makes you sick. So let's say you eat... Um, let's say, okay, we'll do it the way that I learned. When I was a kid, I was lactose intolerant. I am no longer lactose intolerant as an adult, but I do not drink glasses of milk because I relate it to times when it made me Psychosomatic, sick. Psychosomatic, I like so that. So I'll stay away from it because subconsciously I think that's poison, I don't want any of that, even though it's not. The problem with that theory is that I still love tequila. <laughs> I think this is how, actually this is, I think this is how I learned how to like scotch. Because at first I didn't like it, and now I friggin' love it. I mean, I was such a picky eater when I was a little kid. Yeah. And now I eat everything. You know, I didn't eat seafood. I didn't eat raw vegetables. Mm -hmm. You know, it well, was maybe macaroni there's a and chance, cheese and hot like, dogs and Your mother corn. or whoever prepared food for you gave it to you once, and you're like, I don't like this. And then she, being, she or he, being the nice parent they were, they decided not they to pushy. give you food that you hated. And that's how that happened. But maybe they should have cracked the whip and made you eat the seafood. Are there still adults out there that are like super picky eaters? 
Of Ugh. course there are. I sit next to John Iderola. He won't eat any vegetables. That's so weird to Maybe me. Maybe we should introduce You're vegetables. You're right. I do have friends that don't eat salads. John is a vegetarian, green. but he will not eat vegetables. So his diet what? is his diet is bread and fake processed meat. And uh, I think if wait, we fake process. Oh, you mean like, like tofu. Morningstar Farms? Uh, okay. Okay. You know, it's it's fake meat. Yeah. He's a big vegetarian. Well, no, he's, he's not a real eating, vegetarian. He's, a, he's just bad. He's at not it. a meat eater. That's the thing, you know. So to I think maybe if we mixed in a few <laughs> vegetables into his food and colored it somehow. <laughs> you want to sneak some veggies into his I'm going to trick burgers? him, yeah. yeah. That's good. I'm going to trick my coworker who sits right next to me into eating food because I'm insane. No, but if you want to change your own diet, that's supposedly a good way to do it. I don't know. I, I never really thought about how I learned to like certain foods and hate other foods. Like, I still hate celery, but maybe I could learn to love it by just eating a small bite all the time. Oh, that sounds awful. I mean, you, you know about putting peanut butter and raisins on there. And so yeah, long. you know what I do? I just scrape off the peanut butter and raisins, and not eat it, it works. throw out the Kim. celery, because it's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I do that. <laughs> it's like dipping it in blue cheese and then licking all the blue cheese blue, off and then dipping it in again. I don't like blue cheese again. either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any problems here. <laughs>